Waino update, Kilauea crater almost doubles in size as eruption devastates the crater of Hawaii's Kilauea volcano has nearly doubled in size within the last month as its eruption shows no sign of slowing. slowing. The United States Geological Survey, USGS, is monitoring activity as scientists try to work out what will happen next, so what is going on at the Hale Maumau crater? 3D maps produced by USGS show the significant widening at Hale Maumau crater since mid-May the scientific agency said, magma in the summit magma chamber has drained over the past month due to the lower east rift zone eruption, causing much of the floor and rim of Hale Maumau to drop or collapse. These changes have resulted in a much deeper crater, with rubble covering the floor. The deepest part of the crater is now 280M, which reaches below the previous crater floor. Two explosions also rocked the summit on Monday at 12.46M local time, 11.46M BST, and 4.43M, 3.43PM BST. USGS said the second explosion was more typical of the size of events that have been occurring at the summit over the past week. It added, inward slumping of the rim and walls of Hale Maumau continues in response to ongoing subsidence at the summit. The last measurement of the crater's dimension by scientists was around 1.8 kilometers, 1.1 mile, wide which is nearly twice as large as it was before explosions began on May 17, 2018. Aerial footage taken above the crater by a helicopter on the same day captured the impact of the subsidence so far as ash clouds are seen rising above. In a bid to track the patterns of Kilauea's behavior, scientists have installed satellites around the volcano known as Global Positioning Systems GPS. As the crater's walls continue to slump, volcanologists are monitoring the seismic activity to try to work out what is going on underneath. According to USGS, GPS creates a model of the volcano's behavior, enabling them to detect changes including the location of magma reservoirs or active faults. While seismic activity remains high, sulfur dioxide levels omitted by volcanic ash clouds rising above the summit have dropped by about half. Gas and small amounts of ash continue to be carried downwind but air quality for most of Big Island remains good. Only Kona and Ocean View are recording moderate levels, meaning there might be a health concern for a small number of people. Hawaii Volcano Observatory reported a continuing eruption at Fisher 8 in Leilani Estates where eruptions have reached 160 feet high. Molten fountains are pumping lava down a steady stream into the Pacific Ocean at Kapoho, where 330 homes were devoured entirely last week. The lava flows are producing a toxic plume called lays as the seawater is hit. Lays contains hydrochloric acid and fine glass particles which can cause eye, skin, and lung irritation. Affected Big Island residents have been warned to stay alert. Hawaii Country Civil Defense Agency has previously said, be aware that the lays plume travels with the wind and can change direction without warning. Around 600 homes have been destroyed since Kilauea surged into life on May 3. Bob Fenton, FEMA Administrator for Region 9, told reporters on Monday he was amazed at the amount of devastation after taking a flight over scorched areas.